Years ago, I was in Bethlehem outside of Jerusalem, and I had remembered hearing all the stories about how in America we have sheep herders, and they get their dogs and their horses, and they will herd the sheep. But in the Holy Land, they had shepherds, and the shepherds would call their sheep by name, and the sheep would come. And I remember living for nine years of my life in southern Utah in the middle of sheep country, and I thought, there's no way that, that sheep come when you call them. So there I was with my wife sitting on a hill outside Bethlehem and this shepherd with this small flock of sheep goes walking by us. One of the little sheep saw some greener grass and had gone over and the flock had passed by and the one sheep had stayed behind. And the shepherd turned and calls out and calls the name of the sheep. And that sheep's head perked up and then sure enough, trotted right over to the rest of the flock. And I thought, what? He called it by, sheep don't do, you have to drive sheep and herd sheep. But that sheep came when his shepherd called him by name. Well, in both of Elder Garrett W. Gong's talks that we studied, he talked about belonging. He uses the phrase covenant belonging in both of his talks and makes reference to we're part of the flock of God and we belong. We're never alone. We belong. We belong to God. And, and we need to learn, just like that sheep in Bethlehem, to come when its master called. We need to learn to come when the Savior, our master, calls. I love the verses in John 9 and then John 10. I am the good shepherd. We remember those tremendous verses where the Savior calls himself a good shepherd and says that his sheep know his voice and he knows his sheep. But perhaps my favorite verses on shepherds come from the Book of Mormon, from Alma chapter 5. I'm going to start in verse 38. Behold, I say unto you, that the good shepherd doth call you. Yea, and in his own name doth he call you, which is the name of Christ. I, I love that. I love that we are part of the shepherd's flock, and the shepherd is the Savior. And he calls us by his own name. Christians, do-gooders, followers, disciples. Now notice Alma turns the, the coin over and looks at the other side. If we're not being called by the name of Christ, and as Elder Gong has taught us in his talk, regular sacrament meeting, regular worship in the temple, regularly going places where we can hear the name of Christ calling us. As we turn the coin over, if we're not of the the flock of Jesus Christ, we're of a different flock. No, I, still, this is still verse 38. If ye will not hearken unto the voice of the good shepherd, to the name by which ye are called, behold, ye are not the sheep of the good shepherd. If you're not going to listen to his name, so you're not going to places where we hear his name, then you're of another flock. Here's the next verse. And now if ye are not the sheep of the good shepherd, of what fold are ye? Behold, I say unto you that the devil is your shepherd. Ouch! I don't, I don't want the devil to call me. I don't want the devil to know my name. I don't even want the devil looking in my direction. But if I'm not listening to the voice of the good shepherd, then the devil is your shepherd, and ye are of his fold. And now who can deny this? Behold, I say unto you, whosoever doth deny this is a liar and a child of the devil. Those are strong words, and yet they're true. And it's such a simple test. I listen to the voice of the Savior. I let myself be called by his name. Think of the sacrament prayers, that I take his name upon us, that I go to places where I hear his name, the Church of Jesus Christ, of Latter-day Saints, to the house of the Lord, holiness to the Lord, to his temple. I need to make sure I'm in his scriptures, reading his words, saying prayers to God the Father in the name of Jesus Christ. And as I do these things, the name of Jesus, the name of Jesus, the name of Jesus is in everything that I do. But if I start to exclude myself and not go where I hear his name and not listen to his voice, there's only one other flock. Alma's blunt He's clear, he's bold, and he's right. So let's make sure 
we're where we need to be, that we belong by covenant to the flock of Jesus Christ. I want to belong to that flock. I, I, again, you know the analogies that the good shepherd doesn't let wolves enter the flock. The good shepherd protects the flock. I hope that we will willingly be a part of the flock of Jesus Christ, that we will feel that we belong to him by covenant. What a great promise and what great blessings come to let the Savior be our shepherd.